Okay, we're going to talk about three categories of arrhythmias. The three categories of arrhythmias are the supraventricular, conduction blocks, and then ventricular. Um, this lesson is specifically about supraventricular. So supra means above, so these are arrhythmias that originate above the ventricles. So specifically we're talking about the atria because the atria are above the ventricles and the AV node which is also above the ventricles. And also at this time I'd like to mention that the AV node, that area is also referred to as the junctional area. So AV node and junctional area are the same thing. So first off, I just want to briefly um, mention sinus bradycardia. That is a normal rhythm, meaning that the impulse originates from the sinus node. Um, the only difference is that it's below 60 beats per minute. And sinus tachycardia means that the um, impulse originates from the um, sinoatrial node, just like normal, but the rhythm is above 100 beats per minute. Um, so those are just two very basic um, arrhythmias that everybody should already know. Um, but today we're going to specifically talk about the supraventricular arrhythmias. And so what I have here, are, I have uh, six of them listed. And um, I just want to start off by saying it's not necessary to memorize all six of these um, arrhythmias what you do need to know is just be able to uh, reading comprehension just be able to understand these words not necessary to memorize the list but when you do read the list you need to know um, what it means okay so here's the list of them um, we're going to start with um, premature uh, atrial or junctional contraction. So these are PACs or PJCs, premature junctional contraction, atrial or junctional contractions. Um, so, so that's what we're starting with. And that is just basically a single complex that occurs earlier than expected. So, and then here's a rhythm um, strip demonstrating PACs. So they're just normal complexes, and but they're just or earlier than they should be. The next supraventricular arrhythmias um, are numbers two and three. I put them together, the wandering pacemaker and the multifocal atrial tachycardia. I know that's a mouthful, but these are basically the same thing. Um, okay, just to, as a recap, the SA node is the normal focus or the normal origin of signal. So here, the SA node, that's where the impulse should originate. That is the pacemaker of the heart. That's where the impulse should come from. But when the focus or origin of signal is um, from a different area rather than the SA node, then that's, that would be an arrhythmia. And so when the focus is from multiple sites in the atria, so let's say it's from here, I'm just making little dots here. And let's say the origin is from here and here and here and here and here and here. They're from all of these different areas, then that is um, a wandering pacemaker. So what will, remember the P wave uh, coincides with atrial contraction. So every time um, the impulse comes from a different place, the P wave is going to look different. Now the only difference between a wandering pacemaker and multifocal atrial tachycardia is that in MAT the rate is over a hundred. So wandering pacemaker, um, the impulse comes from multiple places in the atria with a normal rhythm. MAT, the impulse comes from multiple places in the atria and the rate is over a hundred. So that's the only difference between those two. Okay, and then I included an example of what a wandering pacemaker looks like. And again, um, the arrows are pointing to all of these P waves that look different. And that's, um, that's what a wandering pacemaker or MAT looks like. Okay, the next supraventricular tachycardia, or I'm sorry, the next supraventricular 
um, arrhythmia is uh, number four here listed, paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia. Paroxysmal, the word proximal means sudden. So this is something that just appears and disappears intermittently. And here is a picture of it. So here we're going along at a normal rhythm. All of a sudden, the patient goes into PSVT. And then it'll stop just as abruptly as it started. Okay, and then the last two supraventricular arrhythmias is atrial flutter and atrial fibrillation. In atrial flutter, there is an ectopic, so again, the word ectopic means in an abnormal location. So again, not at the SA node. So this is an ectopic, so not at the SA node, atrial focus again, a, a site of origin that sends impulses at 250 to 350 beats per minute, and it looks like sawtooth P waves. That is atrial flutter. The last one is atrial fibrillation. And again, this is rapid firing of many irritable atrial ectopic foci. Um, for this one, there are no P waves, just a fibr fibrillating line or a squiggly line um, just before the QRS complex. So again, um, just a little bumpy line before the complex. And then I uh, included this picture one more time just to um, uh, reiterate that the origin of the uh, impulse should come from the SA node but all of these arrhythmias um, are caused by the origin coming from somewhere other than the SA node. They're coming from somewhere in the, in the atria, but not at the SA node. Um, it could be just one focus, could be just one area that's misfiring, or it could be many areas uh, misfiring all together, uh, which is causing the arrhythmia. So those are the supraventricular arrhythmias.